Welcome back folks, this is lesson 31. This is a, a, a shot of Venice, a beautiful spot, uh, just a general shot, not nothing, no particular uh, buildings in, 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 uh, in, in focus, just, just a general shot. And I'm using the same colours I usually use there, so, so you, you, can, you can put those down. I'll put you a sketch up first so you can pause the video and do your sketch and then carry on from the from where, where that leaves off and we'll go into the painting. There's your colours on screen and when you're done with the colours we'll move those and then we'll get some painting done, shall we? Right. The, the, the lighting today, folks, is, is from, from the back. It's backlit. So we want this, the, the glow of the light is from about here. And then we, we'll take it on there. So we want aerial perspective on this one. So the, the, these will be in the depth of the picture. And these will be further forward as it comes forward. You'll see as, as, as we build it up. The sky first. Clean water. I'll put that over here as well. Let's see if we can sort that out. This is our okra or, or sienna, our sunshine, if you like. Then we'll have some, some Mediterranean French ultramarine, lovely blue. Well, some pinky stuff in the bottom of the sky there. Over the building, they're going to be darker, by the way, so we can get away with that. I think we'll have some, some more sunshine colour represented in the water here as well, shall we? We're getting rid of some white today, aren't we folks? Quickly, which is just the job. Right, put a bit of cloud cover in there. It's backlit, so we need to sort of emphasise the the, the light, or it's a source of light. This will bring, bring the corners in as well. Bring some, roll, roll the brush a bit if you can. It'll form some clouds for you. Soften that a bit as it goes further into the distance. Take the harshness off it. And by making it darker at the edges, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of trying to concentrate the the dark, this focus of light into the into the centre of the picture. Take that 
bleeding edge off there. It's bleeding into the into the ochre. I don't want that to happen, do you? Bit more of that off there. I want to have some of this colour, of course, down in the water. This is water in the front, but this is the, the canal, if you like. The Grand Canal. Lovely part of the world. I've been lucky enough to go several times. Uh, if you've never been and, and you, you, you get a chance to go sometime, please go. It's, it's one of my favourite cities in the world. Very romantic, it is. And I spend a lot of time on the, on the buildings now, can't I? Because we've, we've cleared most of the, the white paper. It's in the same picture plane as that one, really. But we've got to create a, a three-dimensional look to it. In other words, these buildings here, in the distance, have got to look further back than these here, because these are further forward and nearer to us. So these are going to be paler than these. So we'll start at the back with that one there, and then work our way forward, OK? So this is our first one, this little one here. I want to do it pale and always check your colours on your, on your tester to make sure you use the colour you want before you commit yourself. So it's most important you, 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 you get this right because it's, it's all part of the getting it forward. Nice and gentle. So this is this is it's in our, our, our building that's the farthest away from us. So it's it's very pale in, in tone. I don't want windows or, or or opera singers jumping out the windows or anything. It's it's just a a, a distant piece of, of landscape. Uh, next to it is is this one here, this bumpy one. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's see, mix of colour now that we we might find more suitable or more stronger in tone than that one. But not too strong because the the, the, the bigger and stronger items are more in the foreground. If we if we go too strong too soon, we'll lose the effect. There's a dome. There's quite a few domes in, in Venice, I'll tell you. It's so it's so beautiful, it is it? The, 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 you don't know what building to look at first. It's it's so nice. Right, I think we'll do that's that one. Put a little pip on the top there. Right, the next one is, is this one here, which is in front of that, but it's behind that. So this has got to be the next value. And then we've got uh, this one here is in a similar vein to that one. So they can be similar colours. So we'll, we'll We'll make that a little bit stronger. This is using the, 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 the ultramarine blue and the and the, the dark colour in the sky. That's the only colours I'm using. The, the fewer the colours you use, the, 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 the more the painting will hang together. I'm starting at the left because I'm right-handed and I'll work my way across. Yeah. 
uh, towering. And we should be able to see shortly that, that this is a little stronger than that one and stronger than that one. So this one is a similar strength to that one. So we pop that one in. Stop there because that one's in front, you see. This is the short one, this. There, so that's a similar value to that one, which is on balance. Now this one and that one is similar values as well, so they'll come stronger than the last one. So that's important. Just test it, make sure it's stronger than what, what I'd want next. This is a, a similar value, so this one is, is next. I might use a chisel brush on this, see if we can, we can paint that tower with a chisel brush, it'll give us a bit of a, a bit of an edge on this one here, look. That's not strong enough. Well, the colour's not strong enough there. Much, must be a much better value than that. bring it in front. Shall we go with that? Put it down there. Little spiky thing up here as well. And with this little brush, or oh, would keep my straight edges. That one as well there. Across the, across the top. This is in front of that one, so that one's going to miss that. This is a jetty which is in front of that building, so that'll be darker, so we'll, we'll leave that. pointy thing there, that's up there. So it's quite useful this brush for that. I think it's, it's a half inch flat I think, something like that. It must be. Yes, half inch. You get the same effect with a quarter but it takes a bit longer that's all. Right, so that is slightly in front of that you see, so but tonally it's, it's, it's coming towards us which is just what we want. Uh, this one across here is in similar vein to that one. So we'll pop that one in. As we're coming across. Up 
that tower there. A bit tight that little corner there. Flick that one in. That one there is, is in front of the end, so we don't want to paint that one yet. So that's similar to that one there, see, so, which, so th that and that is a similar uh, picture plane. That is behind it, and that is behind it, and that is behind these two, and that is behind that one. So we're trying to get it going further forward each time. So look, now we can tattle some of this, this little bit here, which is a similar vein there, so we'll go a bit darker here on this, this thing. So that value is stronger than what the we've just done. And there's a similar one across here which I want to just fit in as well. Is that there's a dark across this one on the base of it which sticks out. You see, you, what you can do with your pen is, is make it up as you go along, you know. You're not going to get some awkward Venetian coming up and saying, hey, that, 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 that doesn't stick out there. Unless you're not any Venetians, of course, they might do then. That's going to be higher than I wanted it to, but just there, so I've got to level it up. Right, so that's that's stronger than that one and that one. Now we're coming stronger still with these two. These are the two strongest ones. So I want them, I want you to paint them with a, some real vigour. This is using the same colours, your, your ultramarine and your burnt umber, but, but less water this time. So it's a good strong mix. And here again, test it. Oh, it's a lovely colour that, I like that. I don't know if you visit my, my, my YouTube channel, but I did a, a little uh, gallery of the paintings we've done so far. And I put some an, a text over it, or, or voice, a commentary. And the commentary I used was, I did a, a program, a, a radio program, called Painting on the Radio. You wouldn't believe it, would you? But we painted on the radio and radio Norfolk. 
and uh, it was so successful. And, and, but I used the, the the video or audio for this, and just put it, overlaid it on the on the paintings. So you can you can listen to the video and, and just have a look at the paintings. What we've done, I think it's about thirty of them, and see how we go. Oh. I think I'll put some sticky bit, sticky up bits on this just to make it look a bit more more. How's that? A little bit more. Uh, that'll do. Perhaps one on this one. Oh, I put that. Put a point on this one. So you decide what your picture is going to look like. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. If you fancy a tower, have a tower. Little point on the top. There, how's that? We get in there on this side. Chill in on this one. Then one on this one here. That's in front of that one there, see. Another point of it. Little point of it on top. We don't like that. Making a bigger tower. See, sometimes you go wrong, but but if you if you care, but you can you can rectify it. Oh, that that looks a bit better. And then there's a, a sort of a, a little parapet or walkway in front of that, just here. And of course, things as things are getting sort of closer to us now, we, we, we're probably going to see some reflections in the water. So we ought to just pop them in, didn't we? Just as a suggestion of of where we're at. So while I'm doing that, I'll, I'll put some reflection in there. And of course, reflections are always paler than than the actual object. So just twiddle a bit in that. So. Yes, you'll find that the reflection with the the, the, the colour balance gets closer. The whites become grey and the blacks become grey. So they get quite close together, they do. Instead of just reflecting the, the colour you've got. Another one here, boom, 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 boom. But don't make a mirror of it. That's one side done. Now we we'll go to this side while that's drying. Let's get some darks in on this one here. That's a right hander, so work from your left. Be careful there. Should get another brush really. Just come down here and then get one a brush, a brush that's finish that top off. Yeah, I've got one in my hand, so I'll just be careful because I don't want to mess that pip up there. That's better, that's all right. There's a little pippy up here as well. Let's get this one in. Right, away we go again. So 
So you should be seeing a bit of depth now. In other words, these buildings look closer than the ones behind them. If it doesn't on yours, just give these front ones an extra coat. That's will bring it forward. Right, let's, uh, I might like a bit of a, I'll let that dry for a bit first, but I'll put, put a bit of reflection in there. I say not, not as strong as, as the actual item. That's this one here. That'll do. So these are a bit too far back to sort of uh, think in terms of reflections and things. Should be dry now, I think. Just about. Right. Now what I can do is just just to make it a bit uh, even more bringing forward. I'll put a sort of a, 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 a sort of a, a gantry thing along the front here, which will separate that from the the, the, the back one there, and make that even stronger than we've got just now. And this is the same colours but less water. So it's really jumping out at us. Just here. See, that's even darker than what we've got there, look. It's still using the same colours, you see? So you don't need a... a but a load of colours like this, we can just do it just dead easy. That's a little, a little uh, gantry there on the front. That might get a touch, touch of reflection on this. but not too strong. Right, now I'll put one on this one here as well. Let's bring this one forward. In fact, I'll see what I'll do. This little two white bits here, I'll bring them forward. But I bring that forward a bit like that. In fact, I'd say you, you can even just, if you feel the urge, pop a little dark bit in there. Make it up as you go along. And nice and full there. I just said I want a bit of reflection on that, so I'll just take the weight off that that uh, the colour. Put a touch on there. And 
Dark bit here. That'll do. Put some reflection on this side as well. There was a bit on there, but where this dark bit is, I want to put a bit of dark on there as well. Right, we're getting there now. We're coming forward. So just to recap on this, we've got this piece in the distance, that piece is next, then this piece here and that piece, then that piece and that piece, then that piece and that piece, and then that piece and that piece, and then the platform gantry here across the front. So it's all coming towards us now. So we, we, we can do what we want. Now let's see what we're going to do. We're going to be now. now just here, the, there's the, in, in the water there's some uh, like mooring posts for these, these gondolas and stuff like that. So I want to put one or two of them in just here. Uh, these are quite, quite strong. So I'll put some strong ones in. Check your values again. Edge of the brush I'm using here, and it's it's, it's flicking it in that. They're not being cute, these are just some stone gym which has been soft in. Of course, Venice, Venice is being built on a swamp, it's 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 quite uh, it, it floods a lot. I've been there and walked in uh, Piazza San Marco or the St. Mark's Square, which is uh, and with with duck boards about two foot off the ground because there's uh it could explode you don't think things like that happen but they do so these are coming towards us these here uh there's some you know there's a few on this side here i want to depict one or two here Vary them. Put the one down here as well. Of course, it, it's always nice to, to get get a pole that sort of breaks the horizon. It, it, it links all the front and the back together, and it it, it sits better. So I think we need, oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, we'll, have, we'll have a gondola, shall we? Oh, I fancy a gondola. I'll just, I'll draw it in with a, with a I'll, just with a brush. I'm not to, uh, I'll not make a, a big deal of it with pencils and stuff like that. I'll just, just do it. Yeah, that brush should be small enough, I think. And this is going to be dark because they're, they're, they're usually black, these things. This is a dark I've got on the palette. In fact, one of the colours I've got on the palette, which I haven't mentioned yet, is, is a colour called Payne's Grey. I mean, people don't like it, but, but I use it. It's, it's good for making a real dark green, it is. Payne's Grey. And, uh, but, but these are, it's, it's quite useful. Let me see if I can see, let's see if I can uh, gauge a, a, a gondola or something.
be a bit liquid as well, but it doesn't flow. Of course the ends curl up, don't they? Like that. Both ends. You've ever seen that one cornet and all that stuff, haven't you? Yes, I'm sure you have. There's one. Well, I can't just put one in. I have to put another one in somewhere else. I'll stick one in here as well. Quite on doing this because I'm, I'm get, getting at the shape. The thing is, when you're doing these things, you see, you, you really pay. If you make a pig zero of this, it's uh, it's just not very good because it's supposed to be painting, isn't it? But uh, you won't make a pig zero of it. You'll you'll do it perfectly. I'm sure you will. around there a bit and of course you, you, you'll, you'll get probably a reflection won't you as well just a touch nothing not, nothing dramatic just a twiddly bit around there and twiddly bit around there but they don't just sit there they, they, they have a bloke that drives it so we better put him in, haven't we? Now it's nice if we've got a a bit of colour, you see. So this will this will be we'll, be, we'll put him a, a red outfit on. He could be Fred, the Italian Fred, Francisco, the Italian gondolier. Right, let's put him in. At, uh, let's put him in this one. Put him a nice bright, and he stood here with his, uh, I'll put him leaning forward slightly. Let's have a look now, see what he's doing. I'll put some black trousers on. I'll put one around this one, he's, he's, he's a red lad as well, because they, they, they've got a certain outfit. Put some dark trousers on. Let's just put some trousers on here. There he is. This one the same. Now I better put him a pole in his hand. He's got one of these here things that, that uh, he drives. Well, he, he steers with, I think. I think that's what they do. So it comes out of the water there and up round there. So he's got one on. Uh, of course, his mate will have one as well, won't he? So he'll, he'll, he's doing his thing here. That's to come behind him. That's two of them. We could do the third one really, but uh, I'm, 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 uh, now I'll leave it for a bit and see how we go. I want to put some more, more detail in the water at the front. It's a bit flat and boring. When they're out like this, they've got people in. 
So I put a couple of people in, in this. Just, they sat at this end, they're enjoying it. Just here, and this, they're, let's put them a more nice, a nice lemon top on, that'd be nice. And these go and do it, they all think they can sing, you know. Let me sing one corner to give it to me. So she's got she's got a yellow yellow top on this lass. She got it specially for the trip to Venice. There she is. And of course what we were going, well, I nearly forgot was that you gotta do this, haven't you? And you've also got to do this as well with the with the red. He'll be up here, won't he? Suggesting a reflection. Same with this block here. Right, he's got a, he's got a, I'm going to have to have some somebody sat with him there. Uh, it's a bit a bit wet there, so I'm going to put somebody just a couple of people sat in that one over there. Not very detailed. This is because they're, they're far away. Just sat here like this. Lovely doing a little bit twiddle like this. It's, I'll put some in with this woman here. I'm impatient, so it might run into it, but not to worry. We'll get away with it. And then there might be two Italians each, so they both got dark here. That's it. There, so they're of course, a bit reflecting in the water, won't they? Oh, he's only got one end in this block, so that'll be all right. One, two, three, four, five people, that'll do. And he wants a dark head on, doesn't he? That one there. And he wants one on, like this. And some dark trousers. And he wants some dark trousers on as well. Right. As I promised you, I'm going to do something with this water at the front. I should be trying to work on. So I'm going to, got, got to bring this water a bit flat like that. So we're going to make it go up like that. So it's coming towards us. So we're going to darken this front end up to bring it towards us. Same colour as the sky. So I'm watching the skies in, in the water, of course. Don't forget that, folks. It's most important. So let's put some... Some ripples in there. Some across this here reflection here. Over that one. Some of this side as well. Try and, I'll try and use a bit of what, what we call dry, a dry brush technique. In other words, there's not much paint on, and because the, 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 I'm just brushing it across, and it, it, it leaves it leaves painted areas and unpainted areas. So it, it, it sort of gives you about a bit of a sparkle, if you like.
nice brushes with them, it's got a lovely point on. I've had it for years, it's, it's called a, a, a Winter Noon Scepter Gold, if, you, if you're interested. Of course I did, I did a, a few years as, as, as their, their watercolors for all the big shows, so, uh, so my brushes came quite easily, which I was lucky, so I've kept them. Being a Yorkshireman. Right, so that, that's that close the close the sides down a bit. Just leave that glow in the in the in the distance there. A bit across there. See if we can I seem to keep a bit of a glow up the middle there, lad. I might even darken these, these corners down a bit more here, bring it forward. That's it. Bit of dry brush again. Sparkle in the water, that is. Just brushing over it. So that's brought that bit towards us. We, we, we need to be finished now, folks. So it's, it has been it's along this one. It's, it's been a nice, nice quickie. Now, what I want now, I want, I want some, uh, I want some foreground poles or mooring poles, if, if you want to put a bit of a, if you want to call it something proper. Let's let's put them in some ni nice and strong, strong colour. Same colour as what we had in the sky. There's got to be hardly any water in this, it's got to be strong. Mix it in. Let's just test it, make sure it's not oh, more, that should be all right. Right, now, these, these poles, I'm, I'm stood here, let's say, and, and on, on land, and, and I can see the, the, there's, there's the mooring posts, for, for gondolas that come close to us. So I'll, I'll stick one in, let's see, I'll stick one in here. And the secret of this is, it's gonna break that horizon line there, you see. That's brought that right forward in the in the foreground, see, because it's 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 tall and it's not on its own, so it's going to have some. It's going to have a, a, another one with it. Here again, this 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 flat brush is, is useful for stuff like this. Don't make them same length; it'll just look odd. Just vary them, and don't put two because it looks like a book ends. Let's have another one in somewhere. It's perhaps a small one here, but still tall enough. Right here. Tall enough to break the horizon like that. Now, when you've got that, don't forget that these will reflect in the water, won't they? Don't forget that. So we're just going to twiddle, twiddle a bit of that down there. That'll, that'll anchor them down a bit, and, and just because it's, I think I'll, I'll, I'll have another one just here, a nice one, one on its own. This is a sort of exclusive one, about about here. In, in fact, a bit out of the picture, this is so close. It's, it's going to be the biggest one. This one.
How's that? that that's you see that, that's brought all this this bit towards us and it shoved that all all back into the distance. It's it's given it another dimension, which is what aerial perspective is all about. Creating depth. It's gone a bit twiddly that bit there, so I'll take a bit put a bit more in there. Widen it up a bit. The mineral reflection that is at the bottom of the picture. Uh, what about some birds? It looks a bit too nice without birds in, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Some dodgy bits in the sky, let's have a look for some. That's a bit dodgy up there. I've got to be careful, I'm leaning on these two poles at the bottom here. Uh, I'll put one in here. The thickest of the paint off my brush. So I don't blob it. There's one. So I don't want to be one here, that's like a dodgy bit out there. We don't have two, we, haven't, we want three. Here's another one just here. I've got to see another one. Just look at that spot in the sky. A bit further away, that one. Well, let's just have a look what we've got here. Uh, yeah, just have a double check before we finish. Uh, we've got sort of depth there, a bit not so deep there, a bit further forward, further forward here, further forward there, and then a parapet going right across there, a couple of gondolas in there, and then some uh, mooring posts in the distance down here, and, and also some three close together here, and one big one which is right in the foreground. Uh, that's it for today folks, uh, if, you, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, that all helps us, and I'll see you on the next one. Any questions at all, please put them on the comments below. Goodbye, goodbye folks. <laughs>